Oh, you saw the thumbnail and thought I was joking. You saw the thumbnail and thought, Oh, he's just gonna make dumb little assumptions based on not- NO! This is not my first rodeo, okay? I have experience in this field. Using facts, science, logic, and math, I determined the circumcision status of all main JoJo protagonists. And yet, my lust for the truth has not been satiated. JoJo's is a series that takes place in our world, meaning I can use real-world data for my calculations. But One Piece exists in its own world, and so until Oda drops a One Piece circumcision census for each island in the series, we're gonna have to get a little bit creative. In volume 56 of the manga, a reader asks Oda what country each of the Straw Hats would be from if they were real. And Oda gives us a pretty convincing list. For example, Luffy would be from Brazil, and Chopper would be f <laughs> Any lame, boring, dummy head would just take the origin country and look up some data, but no. That's stupid. There is no Brazil in One Piece. Luffy is from Dawn Island, and so to figure out if he's cut or not, we're only gonna use in-universe data. But first, we have a very important question to answer. Does circumcision even exist in One Piece? Without proof of circumcision, how can we be sure the practice even exists in the One Piece world? Well, fret not, because I found the answer. Bartholomew Kuma, one of the seven warlords of the sea, is a reoccurring character who is often seen brandishing a Bible. This implies that there is a One Piece Christianity with a One Piece Jesus who lived and died for their One Piece sins. Jesus was circumcised eight days after his birth, meaning if Jesus existed in One Piece, Surely, circumcision does as well. So let's start with our first straw hat, the captain, Monkey D. Luffy. Luffy is a tough one. We've never met Luffy's mom in One Piece, and the closest we've gotten is Crocodile. But we do know Luffy's father, Monkey D. Dragon. Would Dragon have had his son circumcised? <laughs> Sir, would you like us to circumcise the baby? Dragon is as deadbeat as dads get. I doubt he really cares too much about whether or not that kid he had years ago had his foreskin still. So we're gonna have to look to Luffy. Is there any evidence in either the show or manga that alludes to the status of Luffy's circumcision? In episode 408 of One Piece, Luffy gets bathed by members of the Kuja tribe. The Kuja tribe are a group of powerful female warriors who live on an island devoid of any men. Most of them have never even seen a male before in their lives. While watching Luffy, the Kuja tribe, who have never seen a willy before in their lives, mistake Luffy's for a mushroom. <laughs> you know, this scene is played for goofs and gaffs, but the terminology in this scene is incredibly important. The mushroom look is a defining characteristic of a circumcised... This scene alone does imply Luffy is circumcised, but this isn't definitive proof. None of the Kuja tribe have ever seen a... So frankly, I wouldn't blame them for thinking it looked like a mushroom, even if Luffy was uncircumcised. But at the very least, we've got a hint. Luffy was raised by both Garp and Curly Dadon or Dadan Dan. I don't know how to pronounce that and I'm not looking that up. Dadan wouldn't even offer Luffy any food. You think she's gonna give him a medical procedure? But Garp. Garp is an old fashioned man. Why are you so okay. old? God! Garp is also a vice admiral in the Marines. As the incredibly famous hero of the Marines, Garp totally could climb even higher in the ranks, but he holds himself back because he's racist. Ten hut marines, line up for mandatory penis inspection. I got circumcised in my early 20s and it made me the man I am today. But I didn't get no sissy nurse to do it. Hell, I did it myself. No painkillers or medical experience. The infections made me stronger. <coughs> <coughs> oh my god, that hurts. Man, I spent so much of my life stomping. 
Pirates! Garp was so terrified that Luffy would one day be a pirate, he tried his absolute hardest to keep him in line so he could grow up to be the respectable marine he was destined to be. Garp totally had Luffy circumcised as a way to keep him as straight as an arrow. No funny pirate business for him, no siree. With all the forementioned evidence, I can safely say Monkey D. Luffy, circumcised. Roranoa Zoro, the pirate hunter demon king of hell. Zoro is from Shimotsuki Village on Skibbity Island. If you think that village name sounds a little bit different from the other villages in One Piece, like Orange Town, Goat Island, England, that's because Zoro's village was named after Shimotsuki Kozaburo, a Wanese dude who one day was like, I don't want to be here anymore, and made his own village on some faraway island which just became like Wano 2.0, freaking colonizer. Wano is basically Edo period Japan. The culture, the clothes, the laws, the architecture, Wano is as close to the real world One Piece gets. Historically, circumcision was not practiced in Japan, therefore Zoro, a kid who grew up in a culturally Wano village, probably wouldn't be circumcised either. Roranoa Zoro, uncircumcised. Subscribe! Vin Smoke Sanji. Sanji was born as royalty in the kingdom of Germa 985, a war-hungry nation that uses their advanced scientific knowledge to bioengineer their citizens to create a country of super soldiers. The king of Germa 985 and Sanji's father is Vin Smoke Judge, a man who wanted his kids to be the perfect commanders of his army, so he performed invasive surgery on his wife to ensure his kids would be born global elite on Counter-Strike. But uh-oh, Sanji's mom was like, I want my kids playing Stardew Valley. So she, she chugged poison, and then boom, three and a half sociopaths and one normal kid. Because Sanji wasn't a modified super soldier devoid of empathy, his dad neglected him, only caring about Sanji's siblings. So whether or not Vinsmoke Judge is the type of person to circumcise his children is irrelevant, because even if he was, there's no way he would waste his time circumcising the useless kid he never wanted. Judge got bored one day and locked Sanji in a cage for a year. He doesn't care if Sanji lives or dies, so why would he care about Sanji's foreskin? Vin Smoke Sanji? Uncircumcised. Tony Tony Chopper. Chopper is a deer that one day ate a human human fruit and is now a thing. Fun fact, deers do not circumcise their fawn, so I... I don't think he's circumcised. Although he might be neutered, you can't prove to me he isn't. Stuart Jinbei. Stuart is a fish man, and uh, do, do fish men even have... Um... Well, I have seen this one epic Arlong edit that shows fish men do indeed have... Sh At first, I'm kind of inclined to believe they do, but then you remember, this is King Neptune. Okay, this is King Neptune's wife, and this is King Neptune's daughter. So like, how? The only explanation is that fishmen don't reproduce the same way humans do, and instead lay eggs like a fish. But fishmen come in all sorts of shapes and sizes, so maybe some do produce like humans. But then again, wouldn't fishmen have scales? And even the fish that don't have scales, it's not exactly skin, it's something else. Foreskin has the word skin right in it. Even if Jinbei Stewart was packing, I don't think there would be any foreskin to circumcise. Therefore, Stewart Jinbei, uncircumcised. Frankie. Frankie, real name Cuddy Flam, wow his parents hated him, was born to two pirates in the South Blue who abandoned him at Water 7 when he was 10 years old. And um... Wow, that, that, that's it. That's all of it. Seriously, Oda? That's all you're giving me to work with? Come on, man, throw a dog a bone, I'm starving here! On Water 7, Frankie was adopted by the legendary Poor Tom, the fishman who built Gold D. Rogers' ship. 
Poor Tom- wait, that's the Gooner baby from JoJo. We never got to see a whole lot of Tom, but what we did see, we get the impression that Tom is a very laid back guy. A very go with the flow kind of person. I don't see a man like that finding a 10 year old boy and going, Yep. Fetch me my scalpel, we're circumcising this boy. He's also a fishman, remember what I said about fishmen? It's possible Tom doesn't even know what circumcision is. Frankie's circumcision relies on two characters we've never met or know anything about, so how can I even answer this? I think, for the first time in channel history, I gotta give Frankie a Schrodinger's foreskin. I don't know if Frankie is circumcised, and until Frankie gets his Whole Cake Island style extended backstory, he can't know. We just don't have enough information to make that judgment. He does become a cyborg later on though, so he could theoretically build his own robot foreskin, so who knows what Frankie's got under the hood. Usopp. Usopp was born in Syrup Village to Bakina and Yasop, and we know basically nothing about either of them. Yasop left to become a pirate shortly after Usopp was born, and Bakina is a woman who died. The end. <sighs> How do you expect me to solve this one? This is ridiculous! At least with Frankie, I had some threads to follow, but with Usopp, it's just an immediate dead end. It's all headcanon. This is bullshit, Oda! You're making a fool out of me! Are you saying I can't figure out the circumcision status of all the Straw Hats? Are you calling me a failure? You know what I'm gonna do after this video? I'm gonna go and I'm gonna 100% Garfield card. Because at least that's something I can do! Alright, I've got my Looney Toonie here. Heads, Usopp is circumcised. Tails, he's uncircumcised. The f*** are you looking at? Um, Usopp is circumcised. Alright, who's next? Of course I'm circumcised. Not only do I lack foreskin, but I don't even have a penis. Yo -ho -ho -ho! Hey y'all, Scott here. Does Brooke not having a penis actually make him uncircumcised because he never went through circumcision? Or Vote in the comments below. Is Brooke circumcised or not? That'll be your daily good deed. Cause you tell me, man, he's a fucking skeleton. So yeah, that's um, that's the circumcision status of all the straw hats. If you want to see me do this, but for all the JoJo protagonists, I already did that. So you can go watch it like now. For the rest of you, see you next time for Garfield Cart.